Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel guys. This is Minakshi and today we'll talk about foreign words often used in English. So there are thousands of foreign words guys which we use in our English. Okay, some of them have become part and parcel of English language and are copiously used in literary and judicial terminology. Okay guys, so let's get started. Let's try to learn some foreign words which we use in our daily English okay so let's have a look guys we have ab initio ad hoc anti meridium tete or tete vis vice versa xerox and vox populi okay so today we have some words some foreign words which we use in our English generally use in our English so uh, let's take the first word guys ab initio what does it mean ab initio ab initio means guys from the very beginning okay from the very beginning i'm writing here the meaning of ab initio from the very beginning ab initio which means from the very beginning okay guys from the very beginning okay here we will also discuss the meaning and how you can use these foreign words in your English language or in English. Okay, guys. Now, let's take one example of ab initio. Okay. He was instructing ab initio pilot. Okay. So, what does it mean? He was instructing from the very beginning pilot. Okay. And one more example you can say to get good marks in English language. Okay. To get good marks in English language. We should work hard ab initio, which means to get good marks in English language, we should work hard from the beginning, from the very beginning. Okay, guys. So, in such a way, we can use ab initio from the very beginning. So, to get good marks in English language, we should work hard ab initio. Okay. We will not write from the very beginning. It's a simple and general word, but we will try to use these foreign words, which can make our English more impressive. Okay, so let's take the next word and thank you so much guys for your support and motivation. Please keep watching, keep sharing and keep liking the videos and I really really need your support guys. So please keep watching, keep sharing and keep liking the videos and if you are new on my channel guys or you are watching me the very first time, please subscribe my channel first. Okay, now let's take another one. Ad hoc. Okay, how to pronounce it this? Ad hoc. Okay, ad hoc which means arranged for a special purpose or temporary basis you can say okay arranged for a special purpose arranged for a special special purpose or temporary basis so you can also say okay for temporary basis ad hoc so let's take the example of ad hoc like you can say, I work for her on an ad hoc basis. I work for her on an ad hoc basis. Means I work, I kaam karta hoon uske liye on temporary basis. Or you can say arrange for a special purpose. So I work for her on an ad hoc basis. And one more example you can say, the discussions were on an ad hoc basis. Whatever we were discussing, the discussions were on ad hoc basis. Means, which means arranged for a special purpose purpose okay guys now let's take the third one anti meridian it's very easy everybody knows this anti meridian which means am okay am anti meridian so which means time between midnight and noon time between midnight midnight means 12 o'clock in the night okay midnight and noon Noon means 12 o'clock in the noon. So, time between midnight and noon, which is known as anti-meridium in foreign language. Okay. Now, let's take the example of anti-meridium. We can say that, guys, the anti-meridium brunch, okay, the anti-meridium brunch was held before noon so that more people could attend. Okay, the anti meridium brunch was held before noon so that more people could attend. So that more people could attend the brunch. Okay, guys, now let's take the fourth one. What is the pronunciation of this word? 
tete o tete okay tete o tete you can say tete a tete you can also say this okay tete o tete which means in general language we will say this we'll call it a private conversation okay what a private conversation private conversation okay for example this was the place for our tete or tete okay this was the place for our tete or tete which means we need a place where we can talk privately okay we need a place where we can talk privately so for a private conversation we need a place so in place of a private conversation you will use from today like tete or tete so this was the place for our tete or tete okay now viz the fifth one is viz which means namely or you can also say that is to say like okay namely namely or that is to say that is to say for example okay guys now just example the two forms of energy that our society demands in enormous quantities viz viz means namely electricity and liquid fuels okay what does it mean the two forms of energy means energy ki jo do forms hai jo our society hamari society ko chahiye bahut zyada matra mein in enormous quantities they are means they are namely we know them namely electricity and liquid fuel so we can say the two forms of energy that our society demands in enormous quantities jo hamari society ko bahut zyada matra mein chahiye enormous quantities namely unka naam kya hai namely electricity and liquid fuels okay viz electricity and liquid fuels as a you can use like that viz electricity and liquid fuel so viz means namely electricity and liquid fuel now let's talk about the sixth one which is vice versa okay vice versa so vice versa which means in opposite ways okay in opposite way in opposite ways okay means just opposite of one thing okay for example we can say the dog eats the cat foods okay the dog eats the cat's foods and vice versa okay dog has eaten the cat food and already in opposite way cat has eaten the dog's food okay both are eating um uh, their food okay now so you can say the dog eats the cat food and vice versa okay for example you can also say cruise from west to east or vice versa means cruise will go from west to east and then it will it will return from east to west means opposite of that west to east opposite is east to west so cruise from west to east or vice versa okay so which means vice versa means opposite way now xerox everybody knows this xerox which means photocopy okay photocopy which means photocopy for example please make a xerox of it okay please make a xerox of it okay please give me the photocopy of this this uh, print this paper or whatever you want okay so please make a xerox of it now xerox means photocopy and the last one is guys vox populi vox populi which means voice of the people okay which means voice of the people vox populi means voice of the people for example okay now how to use it the vox populi in our town okay means the voice of the people in our town okay vox populi in our town that complains about potholes okay in the road have become famous now okay the vox populi the vox populi in our town so in place of vox populi you will say the voice of the people in our town okay in such a way we can use so the vox populi in our town that complains about potholes 
in the road have become famous now okay so in such a way guys you can use these foreign words okay and which can make your english more impressive so foreign words we are using in our english language day by day and copiously it is being used in literary and judiciary terminology guys now it has become the part and parcel of our english language okay so guys if you like the video just share the video with others thank you so much bye bye have a nice day and thank you so much for watching take care bye bye